This is courtesy of Resident Advisor. It says Charlie Bones is fundraising for a new radio station, and I'm wondering why he's asking for money to basically set up a SoundCloud account or to have access to some streaming platforms, some streaming software, the stuff that I kind of use for my stuff, like OBS and whatnot. It just doesn't make any sense. It probably goes to speak to maybe this is kind of an expression of like creative procrastination, right? Where you try and raise money in an effort to kind of put yourself off from actually doing the actual work. Or it's just a weird entitlement where you think people owe you um, funds so you to go chase your dreams. It's like, I don't really understand it. It's just a, such a bizarre way to go about things. But anyway, let's continue. Um, da -da -da it says, Charlie Burns is fundraising for a new radio station. And again, I don't know this guy. I think I, he was going viral for a bit on a, on social the other, a couple of few months ago because he abruptly quitted his show that he was doing on NTS, which is like an online radio station here in the UK, which is quite popular, I'm assuming, around the world. And he quit it abruptly out of nowhere. No one really knows what happened. I'm sure people on the ground floor probably do. The rumors and stuff are spreading, but I don't know none of these people, so I don't know what the actual reason why he quit the show was. And it was very popular. Show. People seem to like it. He quit it out of the blue. And now he's kind of coming out here with his hands, you know, open wide, asking people to, for funds to set up what it feels like a radio station, which is far more easier to set up nowadays than it was in the past, right? It's like, it's one thing thinking boiler room's a big deal when you first, you know, maybe when it first launched five, 10 years ago, right? But nowadays, if you've got a smartphone or you've got a flipping, you know, a GoPro, you can basically have be your own boiler room and stream your own sets on your own channel on YouTube and stuff pretty easily. Of course, the boiler room platform is amazing. You want to get that chance to be able to broadcast to so many people and they've got what a million plus subscribers on their account. Cool. But you don't need to ask for funds for people to set up a YouTube account, right? You just need to buy a camera, maybe some equipment to stream it with and you're ready to go. Most people that do music have the equipment already. So it just feels a bit weird. You'd be asking for money to set up an online radio station. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But you continue. The former NTS radio host who quit his East London radio station in August has shared a message via his website asking fans to please support any way you can. Donations, merch or subs, then many ideas will unfold. If you've got your own website and you're able to code that, upload all your content on there, why can't you figure out a way to stream music that you're going to do or stream a radio show? Like right now the funds are needed to invest in all studio equipment other startup costs and will run off the subs i'm going to be a complete it's going to be a complete family affair supported directly by you the listener i don't know man i'm all for just doing maybe it's just me i don't like asking for favors or asking for things off people in general i like to kind of earn my way through it it's a harder it's a longer it's a tougher journey and maybe it's a little bit um what's that word called there is some sort of uh Maybe I kind of enjoy the punishment of it. I enjoy how grueling it is, the pain that you have to suffer through. But I do think the fruits of it are far sweeter when you get to the end because you've kind of had to dig in deep and get it in the mud, right? Get it from the mud, for, for lack of a better term. Obviously, you still need help along the way. But initially, starting off, you'd be better off just doing your thing, proving the proving the concept maybe putting out some shows um yeah maybe doing that as you know doing kickstarter maybe putting out a, a whole season first and saying hey here's what i'm trying to do if you want to support the second season i need funding in order to kind of keep it going so i can maybe quit my job and do it cool but just asking people straight away to kind of you know dig into their pockets and help you set up a soundcloud and an obs account it just seems a bit bizarre it says here you can support by donating, buy merch, and subscribing to the merch membership. Read a full message here. So re visit the tribute piece of Bones, a decade long breakfast show here. Da, 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 da. I don't get it, man. Again, maybe it's just a creative thing too. Like I said, I think it's another form of procrastination where you say, if I just had this equipment, if I just had that thing, if I just knew this person, if I just go to that place, um, like all these things are, are things that people think are holding them back. And I think this is what explains why some of the bigger people are where they're at in it they just figure it out and kind of get it done and just keep 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 you know make sure they're consistent in what they're doing um obviously keep showing up and whatnot and they're okay but when you're hanging around waiting for people to what donate and shit to in order for you to do stuff it's like what you've not even proved the concept you know what i mean you haven't proved it to be a viable thing you're not even shown that you can do it on your own now maybe he doesn't have any equipment and he basically went to nts to go and help them out and they provide him with the space and the tools for him to do this thing cool but then the question has to be asked well, then why do you quit nts then if they were able to do their thing for you right it's a again i don't listen to the show i don't listen to the station at all um but i know it's very popular i know people love it i know it's got a great community around it people stand around that little square in dawson and drink flipping red stripes and you know do balloons and shit and compare you know wallabies i know people like this sort of stuff but why would you leave then if you kind of fit in there really well it doesn't really make any sense but 
again, these people, man, like the entitlement is like it's just a bit gross, isn't it? I don't know. I just maybe it's just me. I just don't understand it. I think if it would be different if it was like, hey, my my studio burned down, so I need to replace all the equipment. Okay, fair enough. But like honestly, an online radio station to set up now nowadays is far easier than it was maybe when NTS even first started. I'd imagine so. It still cre- requires some up, some kind of startup cost, but it's not much that you couldn't just work a couple of months, a few months, six months to save up to get that going. And then the good thing about working while you're doing again, this comes back to the argument that I've had with a couple of people in my friendship group who are kind of striving to do their own creative thing right and I don't know what you guys fall on this I've love to hear your kind of recommendations or your answers in the comments where do you fall in the idea where do you fall in the approach to kind of pursuing your dreams I'm more of the side of things of self-funding my stuff so working a job in order to self-fund the things I want to do like the things I'm doing now the DJing obviously on the side the things I obviously want to do all the time and not have to work on nine to five so I want to self-fund it by working and taking whatever money that I have from that and investing it into the thing I'm doing whether it's buying a mic buying a camera going to book studio time to go do some mixing stuff buying headphones buying tunes all that sort of stuff right decks mixes but then there's other people who say they would much rather work for a period of time save up money quit and then use that money to basically fund their dreams so if they're living on the poverty line they're eating baked beans and toast every single day so be it but they don't want to have a job whilst they're trying to produce whilst they're trying to pursue their dreams whereas i'm thinking and i'm always been on the idea that i prefer to both burn the candle at both ends i want to come back from from work at six get changed prepare my my tracks on record box go out to my set before it starts before 10 play somewhere come sleep do the thing same thing the next day and keep it going and then hopefully along the way i'll, I'll get to a point where oh wow i'm making more much more on a weekend than i'm making in a month at work so i can quit the work and continue on but i'm not going to just wait around and hoping something's going to come and land in my lap do you know what i mean but which i think some of these people do with this sort of like funding crowdsourcing fundraising sort of stuff it just seems a bit bizarre it seems a little bit especially now this stage of this journey maybe fundraise later on down the line again like you said you got like i said before you got the proof of concept you've shown that it's a viable it's a viable thing that people want um there's a need for it out there cool but to fundraise right at the beginning when you've not done a single thing, it just seems a bit entitled. But again, let me know in the studio. studio. Let me know in the comments what you think. What approach do you take? Have a job and use that money to pursue your, your, your kind of passions or have a job for a bit, save money, quit, and then pursue your passions just off that money. And whatever happens, happens after in the future. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts on that one, if you may.